Hi, this is Mato. In this video I will show you the game between Carlos Torripeto and Solomon Borisovich Gotiv. This game was played in Moscow in 1925. With this game I want to show you another game of a brilliant chess player, Carlos Ripeto, and his way of playing against Slav defense. Let's have a look at the game. Carlos Ripeto had white pieces and he started with d4. Solomon Gotiv played d5, c4, c6, going for Slavo semi Slav defense. Knight to c3, knight to f6, knight to f3, bishop to f5. Playing bishop to f5 before pushing the pawn to a6. So bishop is developed now, but bishop is no longer defending the pawn on b7. So how will Carlos Ripeto take the advantage of that? Let's have a look. c takes on d5, first move. c takes on d5 and now I key the move. Queen to b3, attacking and defended pawn on b7 and also one on d5. Queen to b6, what else? If bishop to c8 defending the pawn, then bishop to f4. This would put black far behind in development. Doesn't look good, does it? Okay, so we have queen to b6. Knight takes on d5. Knight takes on d5. If queen takes on b3, then knight takes on f6 check. And after pawn takes knight, pawn takes queen. So we have knight takes on d5, knight takes knight, queen takes on d5, white is a pawn up. Can black get some compensation for it? Let's have a look. e6, queen goes back to b3, queen takes queen, pawn takes queen, bishop to c2, black is going to win the pawn back. Bishop to d2 and bishop takes pawn. Material is equal. e4, f6, bishop to c3, bishop to c2, attacking the pawn on e4. Knight to d2, knight to d7, and Carlos Torre paid to play bishop to b5. Fifteen moves have been played. Material is equal, but white has a better position the activity of the pieces. Do you agree? Have a good look at the position. What else do you notice? Did you notice that black bishop is trapped? Solomon got you played a6. Perhaps he considered f5. And one line goes like this. f3 could be played, and also this move. Pawn takes pawn, bishop takes pawn, and now knight to c4, causing big trouble in the black camp. For example, after e5, knight to b6, winning for white. Okay, so in the game, in this position we have a6, king to e2, pawn is pinned, if pawn takes bishop, rook takes rook, so we have rook to c8, bishop takes knight on d7 check, king takes bishop, rook from h to c1, bishop has nowhere to go b5, rook takes bishop, b4, black is going to get his piece back, rook takes pawn on a6, pawn takes bishop, rook takes pawn, rook takes rook, pawn takes rook. It is black to move. Solomon got you played bishop to d6. If 
bishop to e7, then perhaps check. And after king to e8, pawn can be advanced to c4. It is one of the moves. Doesn't look good for black neither. In the game we have a bishop to d6. White to move. White played a move and black designed. Carlos Torre Peto played knight to c4. Black resigned. If bishop goes to c7, for example, then knight to b6. This is one line. Bishop takes knight, rook takes bishop. Two extra pawns are too much for Gotif. What else? If in this position bishop takes on h2, then g3, and after h5, check, and after king to c6, rook takes pawn on g7. This doesn't look good for black neither. So Solomon Gotif resigned in this position. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.